So this question is a diagram question. Um, diagram questions come in two flavors. One, where the diagram itself is in the question. And two, where the diagrams, graphs, tables, charts, things of that nature, really anything that's visual, I'm going to call a diagram question. So the second option is when those things show up in the answer choices. So what we have here is a diagram question where the answer choices are graphs. So when we read the question, what is the graph of the equation of y equals 3 to the x? So what I like to do is to get some more clarity on well, what exactly does this mean? Y equals 3 to the X. Well, I have graphs. The beauty of graphs is I can find specific points on each graph. So the easiest thing for me to find here, or one of the easier things to find here, is what happens when X equals 0, right? Because in graph A, when X is 0, we have a point here at 1 on the Y axis. But for choice B, when x is 0, the graph is at negative 1. For choice C, when x is 0, the graph is at negative 1. And for choice D, when the x is 0, the graph or the y value is at negative 3. So what happens when x is 0? Well, I can just plug 0 in, right? y equals 3 to the 0. Recall that anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. So that means when x equals 0, y should equal 1. The only answer choice that gives that point is choice A, right? This is negative 1, so it's gone. This is negative 1, so it's gone. And this is negative 3, so it's gone. So just by plugging in this one option here, we're able to get straight to the answer. Our answer is choice A.